Armored vehicles that can withstand gunfire from an AK-47, keeping high-profile people safe and alive. Now, this level of protection is in big demand all around the world. Now, these SUVs and cars are Texas-built and bulletproof. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard takes us inside the manufacturing process and reveals where these vehicles are headed. War zones, international hotspots, governments in turmoil. When world leaders and high-profile people need protection, this is where they come. The Texas Armoring Corporation in San Antonio. The work here protects families. So this is an armored vehicle. You can't tell from the outside. Almost all of the vehicles built here are shipped overseas, providing protection from bullets. Landmines and grenades. If I started naming uh, clients, you would definitely know them. Trent Kimball is president and CEO. He started this business nearly 20 years ago. We actually make the inside a, a fully protected cocoon so that the occupants inside the vehicle can stay inside the vehicle and get shot at multiple, multiple times. Probably about 40 pounds. A little bit about 40 pounds, yeah. Maybe a little bit more. To create these moving fortresses, Trent's team removes everything from the inside of the new SUV, a truck, or even a car. Then they coat the inside with steel and weld it all into place. It is not a cookie cutter operation. Each and every one of these vehicles here, a custom job. Every vehicle we do is highly customized. It's a handmade vehicle at this point. They replace the regular glass with this two-inch bullet-resistant glass. Take a look at what happens when bullets fired by an AK-47 hit the vehicle. Glass breaks, but... That there's no penetration. And so that's the whole idea of the armored glass. It's still going to break, but it's not going to penetrate. Trent was so confident, he was willing to sit inside the car as a marksman fired away. There he is, safe inside. If you're the head of state, you want protection on the road. So they come here to put a piece of steel between them and their assassin. And meanwhile, they're sitting right back here in the back of an SUV that looks more like a limo. Armoring can cost about $85,000 and add about 1,500 pounds to an SUV. Trent says most clients want to protect their families from kidnappings. He says many of their vehicles travel through Houston, headed to the Middle East, West Africa, or Central America. Most of our clients are um, well known in their country. Either they're politicians or very, very wealthy businessmen uh, or celebrities in their, in their specific country, in their region. They are high profile individuals. Could criminals or drug dealers get their hands on one of these vehicles? Trent says it's unlikely. The U.S. government knows each client has an export license is required for every purchase. We don't sell to bad guys. We sell to the good guys trying to protect themselves. They outfit about 100 vehicles every year, a market driven by the dangerous locations around the world, but built close to home in San Antonio. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC Channel 2 News.